morning, Strasburg United Methodist Church and others watching this daily devotion today. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. If you're like me, you've been listening to a lot of music, maybe turning on Pandora or Spotify or YouTube and just putting on playlists of things that bring you joy. Uh, maybe you're looking for other things that keep you from just listening to all the news that goes on and all the bickering that seems to go on. Um, and and when, I'm in, when I encounter stuff like that, what I'd like to do is turn towards scripture um, to remind myself that what we're going through is no different than what has gone before. Uh, right now we're having uh, conversations about whether to reopen um, for business, uh, and there have been some you know, really some crazy things being said about, uh, well, it's worth a few deaths if we open up, and I'm not quite sure it is. Uh, I, I think we need to be thinking about the least of our populations and saying, how can we uh, help those in need, um, and how do we help those who are, are sick to make sure that uh, they don't die unnecessarily? Uh, of course, on the other end, I hear that if we don't open and people don't have jobs and they can't pay their bills and they become suicidal, that, well, that that's a loss of life also. Um, and I wish I had a better answer for you all. But one thing that I do think about is uh, one thing that, that Paul said to the people of Corinth. He wrote them a letter, and he, and he describes um, in chapter 12 of that first letter to the Corinthians uh, that the, the church is like a body of Christ. You know, Christ is the head, and, and we are all parts of that body. Uh, some of the parts of the body seem to be more important than others, uh, you know, like the hand or the feet or the eye or the nose. And then we have you know, parts of our body that we have no clue what they do, like the appendix, right? And, and so um, he said that, that our churches are like that too, that there are people within our, our church that uh, are the hands and the feet. There are other people who are like the appendix, but all are part of the same body and all are worthy. And so he, he writes this in 1 Corinthians 12. On the contrary, the members of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And those members of the body that we think less honorable, we clothe with greater honor. And our less respectable members are treated with greater respect. Whereas our more respectable members do not need this. But God has so arranged the body, giving the greater glory to the inferior members, that there may be no dissension within the body, but the members may have the same care for one another. If one member suffers, all suffer together. If one member is, member is honored, all rejoice together with it. I want you to think about that, that when we think about our greater society, our greater world, we know that there are the rich, we know that there are the poor, we know that there are those who are talented and those who may be um, not so talented, but they all have a place in our society and in our world. And a part of our calling as a church is to care for all people. And so as we have these debates about whether we open up our businesses or or what happens here in the next few months how do we react to this virus remember the biblical principle that God has made all life valuable and uh, I encourage you to think about that as, uh, as you go through this day uh, it reminded me also of a, a message that my my dear friend Mary Rippey um, she passed away a couple of years ago uh, but she's still talking to me uh, through this book that she wrote back in 1977. It's called Wait a Minute, God. And, and really, it's a book of devotions for parents. And, and, and she wrote this when she was a young mother. And here's what she wrote one day. I just made my agenda for the day. It, so, it says, scrub bath, make salad, sort mail, do laundry, shine refrigerator, and, you know, two dozen other things. But it doesn't say pray. It doesn't say call a lonely friend. 
There is no mention of visiting my elderly neighbor or writing a note to one who is sick. God, how can I expect a day to be well lived if I don't think of others? How can I expect to get things done if I am selfish? Help me remember to pray. Help me remember a friend. Help me think of a stranger in need. May my days always include your work and others' needs as well as my responsibilities. I'm going to share with you a song today from the Tizé community. And it's one we've done before on a week, but I encourage you to hear it again anew. It's called The Lord, O Lord, Hear My Prayer. Lord, we ask that you guide us today, that we not only reflect on our own needs and fears and anxieties, but that we remember our neighbors, that we remember those who we often see as less than we are. Be with those who are struggling. Be with those who are facing unemployment or facing homelessness or facing bankruptcy. Be with those who are struggling with family relationships. Be with those in the midst of working out on how to raise kids in the midst of divorce. Be with those who are trying to teach their children and entertain their children in the midst of the coronavirus. Be with the older folks in our world who are all by themselves, whose children often forget them and be with those who are able to engage with others with joy and peace and kindness. Lord, be with our businesses, that they may continue to have solutions to get them through the next few weeks and months. Be with our government officials, that they may have wisdom and not just speak in ways that allow them to be reelected, but to speak with wisdom that cares for as many people as it can. Lord, be with our churches that we may continue to share the message of your hope in this world. Be with our caregivers and our first responders and our nurses and our doctors and give them hope even in the midst of tragedy. Finally, Lord, be with us that you may fill us with your joy and peace and patience, kindness generosity, and self-control. We lift all this in your name as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I thank you for joining us today, and I will see you again tomorrow. May God bless you this day, and may he fill you with strength and peace and kindness.